Hello my dear friends and my dearest, dearest family uh, welcome back to our max class so, uh, we are going to uh, see uh, the easiest way to perform the multiplication with the help of a tables okay this this is a class about the tables and multiplications okay okay so uh, in my last video we have uh, seen about the basic format of multiplication and basic uh, process behind of uh, behind uh, multiplications and why the multiplication is so much needed okay so uh, so there will be always a question mark why the basic arithmetic like addition and subtraction is not enough for a mathematic to perform a basic calculations is there will be a very strong question on this point but what uh, what i have saying what i have said in my before video itself i have said the multiplication uh, will uh, save our time which helps us to save our time so when it takes an addition when adding a uh, uh, like a hundred items in the same cost no, if, if you want to put 100 uh, for example uh, 50 rupees uh, chocolate and we are buying for a uh, number 100 numbers okay so uh, so we we cannot make an addition like putting a uh, uh, 50 rupees 50 rupees again down and down 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 50 rupees 100 times again and again so to avoid the repeating of the addition we just want to learn about the multiplications okay this is how the multiplication help us to uh, uh, to make a uh, uh, time to get saved okay so on this good note we are just moving to the uh, today concept in my yesterday concept in my last video last concept i have we have seen about the grouping of the numbers isn't it so what is the meaning of the grouping means is a multiplication is all about the grouping okay so what is a grouping means listen for example my last video itself i have told you but even though it will be some revising session also just see in its one thread we having a uh, 10 beads okay okay 10 beads are there so when you are putting together it will be not as easiest uh, like grouping why i am saying the grouping means because it is a very easy to uh, add or multiply or count okay so when we putting together a 10 bits in a one thread instead of that if you divide it if you group it as a five and five it will be easy to make a count this is called a grouping so grouping which help us to uh, count it very easily without any confusion so this is how the grouping help us to make our counting very easy so this is what a grouping i have told you in my last video itself okay so we have uh, seen how the multiplication works so always in the behind the every multiplication there is an addition for example listen here i have a a b c a uh, three groups okay a b and c and three groups in each group there are a uh, for um, anything for eggs okay just keep it as eggs for eggs so how many groups are here a b c so how many groups are here three groups are here so how many eggs are here so totally how many eggs are here if i want to calculate a total egg in a b c that is a plus b plus c so if I want to calculate A plus B plus C, instead of counting like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, instead of counting this in multiplication, how it working means, so first count the number of groups. How many groups are there? There are uh, three groups are there. Uh, okay. How many eggs in each group? There are uh, four eggs in each group. So I'm just taking one four here. So three into four, 12. So totally there are 12 eggs in A, B, C. See here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12, totally a 12 eggs in combining A, B, C. Okay. So this is a 3 into 4 is equal to 12. Okay. So you may think this is a very a simple one, isn't it? There is a only a three group, only three group having only four. It's, we can easily count without addition itself. We, we, we using our fingers, we can make a color, we can make a count. Okay, yes, of course the addition is enough for this tip. But if there is an A to Z group, 
A to Z group. Each group having a eight eggs. Okay, a, each group having a eight eggs. Then, if you want to do addition is easy, or if you want to uh, do multiplication is easy. Listen, the question is one one more time. I'm just explaining the question here. See here, whereas in my previous example, I have brought only a three groups. In each group, there are only a four eggs. So we can make a easy calculation using our finger itself or a counting, uh, normal counting itself. Whereas for example, we having a A to Z groups. That is what is a twenty six group we are having. Okay, in each group, in each group there are eight eggs. Just I'm just uh, writing uh, one example, not twenty uh, six groups. I can't make to draw here. I'm just drawing. I'm just drawing the sample example. See here, this is a A to Z groups. Okay, now here this is a one, this is a twenty six. Now remaining here. Okay, so just assume from each group having a eight eggs. So totally, how many groups are there? Twenty six groups are there. Each group having how many eggs? Eight eggs are there. So this is the answer. If I multiply twenty six into eight, this will be the answer. Okay, now you compare the this multiplication with addition. So whereas twenty six eight times, if I want to uh, add eight for a twenty six times means for twenty six times is this is a easy step or whereas this is a easy step. Of course, this is a easy step. Okay, instead of putting a eight times a twenty, twenty twi sorry, twenty six times eight. Instead of that, we can easily make a calculation and also we can save a time also. Okay, so when comparing to the addition, the multiplication help us to save a time, isn't it? It's of course it save a time and also it makes us the easy calculations. At starting stage, you may feel very difficult. As of of course I know when comparing to the addition, the multiplication seems to be very difficult at earlier stage. But once you understand the the hero of the multiplication, what is that? Tables. Yes. If once you understand the tables, once you memorize the tables, then the multiplication will be very easy, like us eating sweet. Okay. So that much easy. So I hope you understand how the multiplication is help as uh, where the addition feel as too tough. Okay. So where wherever we feel the addition is uh, very tough or addition will take time. We can use the multiplication there. Okay, so we can use the multiplication, but there will be a once uh, uh, the uh, conditions, not a conditions uh, like a rule. Okay, so what is that rule means? For example, I have told you there are a twenty six. Um, a uh, grouping. Each group have a eight eggs, isn't it? Each group have a eight eggs. Now the question is like there are a twenty six groups. Okay, but not every group having a same number of product. I will explain you with a small number. Then I will go to the big example. Now I'm just explain you for your clear reference. I'm just taking only a three groups. Okay, where the multiplication will not work out. See here, I'm just taking a three group here. Okay, so it's the thing is an is anything product. Okay, so I'm having a three group, isn't it? I'm having a three group. So in each group, the number of product is different, isn't it? So see here, here two, here five, here six. So in each group, the number of product is different. So I cannot. Perform the multiplication here. So num see here number of group is three. I have put at three into I cannot make a clear number here because each group having a different different calculation. So each group having a different 
calculations okay so different that is a different number of products each group having a so see here so each group having a, a different number of products where see here a having a two number two, two number of product b having a five number of product and c having a six number of products the number of product is different number of product is different so i cannot make a exact calculation using the multiplication here the addition is going to be helped there is a no other way okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 sorry 7 uh, 7 plus 6 13 okay so number of product is 13 here the addition is going to be help so now you can understand actually where the multiplication will help where the multiplication actually help when number of product is equal in all groups in that situation in that situation the multiplication will help us see here okay so now we are going to see a one big example like a 26 a to z so now there are a, a to z group so there are a 26 groups okay so there are a 26 groups Okay, there are twenty-six groups A, B, uh, dot, 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 E, Z. Okay, so here there are number of product is not equal, uh, not equal in every uh, group. See, in A group, number of product is four, whereas in a B group, number of product is two. If I take C group, the number of product may be a one. Okay. Or in a D E group there be a num number different. Okay, in a Z group C number of product is four. So in this situation you want to collect first you want to see the equal number of product. You have to select equal number of product. For example, for example I'm just uh, not uh, instead of taking a twenty six groups. I'm just taking a six groups for first for your understand. I'm just taking the Six groups. Okay, now I'm just taking a six groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now see the number of products in every group is very different. When comparing, see here in a one in a, in a group one there are a four four number of product. In a group two two number of product. In a group three four number of product. In a group four four number of product. In a group five only a one number of product. In a six we having a two number of product. So the number of product is different in each and every group group. But there are are some similar uh, equal uh, product in some group so we want to collect those groups so how many groups having a same number if i take 4 so how many groups having a 4 means 1 2 3 so totally in a 6 there are a three groups are same so i'm just going to take how many groups i have taken Three groups are taken. In a in a three groups, how many uh, equal uh, uh, in every group? How how many product are there? Four product are there. So four into three is twelve. Okay. So next, I'm just taking a two. So here there are two. Uh, group are equal uh, having a equal number of product in a second group and sixth group having a equal number of product second and sixth having so how many groups have selected two groups have selected in a each group having a how many number of product two number of product so totally four okay so if leftover is one so i'm just adding now you can make a addition 5 
17 so total is 17 you can also perform the multiplication like this so when, when I have always told you when the number of group is smaller it will be easy with addition itself now see I have just taken only these six groups so it may be easy when you are doing addition itself it is more than enough you don't take the need to take any multiplication whereas in my previous examples like 26 groups just assume from A to Z. A to Z I am having a different number of product in a different uh, groups means we can may, uh, we can apply these kind of uh, Okay, so just assume in a, a to z there are 26 groups are there. So now each group having a different number of product. In those cases instead of doing a heavy addition we can perform this technique. What I have told you what I have did here I have chosen the number of product in how many groups in a if for example here there are a, a three groups having a same number of product like a four and two group having a same number of product as a two. Just a uh, compact just we, you can apply this same technique in the 26 groups it will be easy easier when comparing to doing the addition of uh, of all 26 group you can make if you uh, follow this technique it will be easier uh, when comparing to the uh, doing a whole uh, uh, grouping addition okay so this is how the grouping is help as in the multiplications okay the multiplication is, is all about the grouping and ordering okay so